Hello friends, welcome back to my channel. I am Raj. Uh, I bought an electric snow blower. It's a Snow Joe 18 inch 14 and a half amp electric snow thrower. Uh, the model is SJ619E. At Home Depot, they are selling for $198 plus tax. Uh, but one guy bought this at Amazon and he never used it. So I bought it from him as a second hand for $150. Before we test this machine, let's have a closer look. If you look underneath, there are two uh, rubber blades uh, those are not metal it's rubber but I can see the metal is attached to the rubber but the blade is rubber these parts are plastic but it looks solid so let's wait and see how it's going to handle the heavy snow in one single push it will cover up to 18 inch wide and 8 inch deep This handle is to adjust the chute. If you want to throw the snow in the front or left or right, you can control by this handle. Here you can manually adjust how far or how close you want to throw the snow. It's a little bit annoying that you have to reach out to adjust it, but you know, what you pay, what you get. It comes with a mini light, but for me, it's useless because where I live, we are not allowed to use these machines at night time. But it's always good to have an additional option. It is an electric uh, machine, so if you're buying one, this is where you had to connect the power and you make sure you have a long power cable. If you look on the side, you will see a blue color button. So to start the machine, you have to press this button and hold and then pull the trigger and that's going to start. When you release the trigger, that's going to stop. It's nice that the handle is covered so you won't feel that much cold on your hand. Let's take a look at the mini wheel here. So this part is metal, but the wheel is plastic, but it looks solid. Let's wait and see how it's going to move in the snow. The good thing about this machine, it doesn't take that much space for storage. You can fold it in half and you can store away. All right, now let's put this machine in action and see how this is going to handle. Before we start, let me show you something. You might be wondering about this small plastic. You can use this plastic to secure your wire because when you move around the machine, you don't want the power to get disconnected and the cable falls in the snow because it's dangerous when the water goes inside. We had about five centimeter very light snow, you know, so let's start with the easy one and see how it's going to handle the light snow. You know. I'm cleaning the snow without moving my vehicles away, so I'm working with a very tight uh, area, so it's hard for the machine to reach certain areas. So I'm going to be using my shovel and push the snow to one area and then throw it with the machine. The main purpose of I bought this machine because I don't want to lift and throw and hurt my back. All right, now we are on the second day. We had lots of snow. I think it's around 20 to 30 centimeters snow. 
and not only that uh, it is very wet and heavy snow so let's see how this is going to handle as you can see like i have to manually push it a bit because uh, this snow is too much for this machine but still doing the job when you look at it it seems like i'm struggling but i'm not i'm actually controlling it uh, by pushing little by little to make sure the snow doesn't go into my neighbor's property it's because i don't want this really shoots high so i'm just controlling it by like pushing it little by little Actually, this is my main guy. Like, I love this uh, shovel because this is a monster shovel. When we have, like, lots of snow, this helps a lot because I can easily, like, get tons of snows in there and then push it away without even lifting it. So I'm using the shovel to move everything into one area and then easily I can shoot it away with that machine instead of lifting it. I've cleaned up almost all the heavy ones and made a path for my vehicle to get out and now I only have a little more left over and I can easily finish this up. Actually, I'm impressed with this machine because for a small machine to handle this much snow is great. If you are somebody like don't want to spend too much money and uh, you don't have much space to store during the summertime, this will be a good one to buy. There are uh, many models in this uh, entry level, so you can buy any of them and then I'm sure you will have fun with it. If you find this useful, don't forget to give a thumbs up and if you are new to my channel consider subscribe and I will see you in another video.